close your eyes, and create a good space in the present moment. Breathe deep down inside and find a rhythm that feels good. Because the mind is assailed from all directions by all kinds of things. Things we like, things we don't like. Even sometimes the things we like assail us. In other words, they just overcome the mind. And things we really don't like happening when they assail us. If we don't have a good foundation inside, they can knock us over. So try to develop this foundation inside, realizing that the good things in life really do come out of the mind. What we see outside is just, as John Lee says, decorations along the path, decorations along the road. The real substance of goodness lies inside. When the mind is generous, there's a sense of well-being that comes up from inside. When we act in a principled way, in other words, we could harm somebody else or we could harm ourselves, but we say, no, that's against our principles. There's a sense of well-being that comes inside. When the mind can settle down and be with itself, and not eat away at its peace of mind inside, that's when the mind really has a good foundation. So try to create this foundation for yourself. The world is not going to create it for you. It's something you have to do for yourself. But once it's there, it's something you can really rely on. With the ups and downs of the world, you don't have to go up and down. Or as the world spins around in the Buddha's image, you don't have to spin around. What does it spin around in? There's gain, but then there's loss of gain. There's status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. We're with our loved ones for a while, and then we're separated. And then we come back again, and then we're separated again. If you could see all your many lifetimes, you'd realize how many times there's been separation and then reunion again and again and again. And as I said, when you reflect on this, then you begin to realize you'd like to find a way out. Well, that's what training the mind offers, a way where you're not creating suffering for yourself, you're not creating suffering for others. And there is that sense of genuine well-being inside. So work on that. That's your foundation. When that foundation is strong, then when the winds come blowing from the different directions, they don't blow you over. The image they use in the canon is of a stone pillar, 16 spans long, eight spans are buried in the ground. In other words, that stands for the qualities you develop inside the mind. And because it's well buried like that, then the eight spans are up exposed to the winds. Don't get shaken by the winds. So focus on that buried part, the part that's deep down inside. Make sure that that's in good shape. When that's in good shape, then the winds of the world can blow any direction they want to. But the mind doesn't have to be disturbed, and it doesn't get blown over. When the mind gets blown over, your ideas of what's right and what's wrong, what should be done, what shouldn't be done, get all mixed up. This is how we create a lot of unnecessary harm for ourselves. But when the mind is well, well founded, has a good solid basis inside, then it's very unlikely that it's going to get knocked over like that. <laughs>